Fitness is a lifestyle, and to prove it, we're gonna show you how to apply your fitness to doing something like an everyday activity, like working out in the yard. Let's talk about some things you normally use, like a shovel, or a garden trowel, and gloves for your tender, tender hands. Of course, you're gonna need something to work with, and if you have a weak back, it's better to work in a good soft soil. Okay, let's do this. Getting into small, awkward places is a job for short friends. And in this particular instance, our short friend is indeed the garden trowel. It's a great tool, unless you're bending over like a troll and letting your lower back do all the work. Stay in a good, healthy squat position. Can't get into a squat position? Well, it looks like you got some work to do in the gym. The shovel, the scourge of the lower back. Look, the shovel is a lever. It is designed to help you keep everything out of your lower back. Most people end up using it like some kind of a clumsy spear. And to be sure, you are going to have to use it that way, but there is a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. Just like your deadlifts, just like your squats, just like your cleans and your snatches. If you are not coordinating your entire body to move that object, either the barbell or in this scenario, the shovel, then it's gonna end up being awkward and clumsy and you're gonna end up getting it in the wrong places like your lower back. Instead, coordinate your legs, your trunk, and your arms to move in one motion so that you can concentrate all of your power, all of your energy into the head of the shovel so you can hack away and chop at whatever you're supposed to without your lower back getting too involved. Now the best way to do your shovel work without getting into your lower back is to use the back end of the shovel like it was designed to. You step on it, you can chop through all your roots. You're just working smarter, not harder, gang. That's the idea. Now once you get your shovel head through whatever you're trying to get through, use a really good squat position and the lever of the shovel to remove the dirt, the rocks, whatever you're trying to get at. Most yard work ends up being pulling things up or picking things up that are awkward and or heavy. And the great way to do it wrong is to use a herky-jerky motion with a rounded back. Instead, it's better to use your deadlift or your sumo deadlift form with a straight back so you can use 100% your legs. Word to the wise, roots tend to have an exponential resistance factor, so it's best to level the playing field before you start wailing on that with your deadlift. Now that's what I call a job well done. Here are some other exercises that will definitely benefit you. The tree pose. Not only is it a fitting name for the activity, but it's great to work on your hip stability while working in the garden. Now, you're also gonna be picking things up and putting them back down all the time while you're working outside. So make sure you're using really good deadlift form and or squat form to make sure you pick things up safely and efficiently. 